so these are the five things that I do to instantly improve my skate sessions and we're going to start off with the things that I do before I even leave the house. Which first up is caffeine. So caffeine is great. I love caffeine. It gives me more energy, helps me focus better, and just makes my body feel better overall, which contributes to having more fun skating. And I really like coffee, but right now it's too f***ing hot for that shit. It's 101 degrees outside today. So I'll just drink pre-workout, which this is the one that I have right now. I just get whatever's cheap at Walmart. I need to get some more, so that's why I don't have it in my hand right here. And then another thing that I'll do before I leave is what am I wearing? Now, I'm not really all that big into fashion. Like I got a couple couple little chains or whatever, but I'm not like the, the biggest person into fashion unless i'm skating they do care a little bit as stupid as this shit sounds like the clothing on my body can affect my ability to skate not just like is it constricting or not but just like my mental space like i like to wear these black stretchy shorts because it puts me in like this athletic mood and like makes me want to skate just a little bit more it is stupid mind games on that same note like if i could i would never wear a shirt skating not because it's like oh i'm like the best in shape guy in the world and i want everybody to see no i don't really care about that it's because like when i'm not wearing a shirt and i fall it's gonna scrape me up a little bit and that just makes me want to not fall a little bit more which i don't really want to fall with a shirt on but without a shirt on it gives me like that extra little mental boost but now we got all that out of the way let's head to the skate park so believe it or not jump rubbing for like 30 seconds before you start skating is fantastic not only because it like helps warm up your body which speeds it up so you don't have to do it on the skateboard and take the time with it you just feel more on point but it also helps with this problem that i have especially when i don't sleep so at times the muscles on my knees will get really tight and every time i bend down past a certain point it'll stretch and it'll have extraordinary pain so if i jump rope for like 30 seconds it's fantastic like it loosens everything up and it's feeling great so i know you've probably heard this one 10 million times over the course of your life but this is version 2.0 so instead of just stretching i know boring heard it a million times right add some foam rolling in there and that'll help you like loosen up your body like twice as much it's fantastic So last but not least, number five, music. So I accidentally did the science experiment on myself. So a little while ago, I randomly got into this band called Five Finger Death Punch, and that's all I really listened to for like a week straight. And what I found out while being hooked on that band for like a week straight is that I felt more confident and was in a better mood in general, because before that, I was just like listening to a lot of like emo rap music and kind of just sad music in general, to be honest, which actually had a lot bigger impact on my psyche than I thought it would. So now I kind of like parent myself in a way to where like if I'm just sitting there listening to music at work being like, oh, that's a sad song, skip. Well, at least in the most part, because I've always liked music that made me feel something, whether it be happiness, sadness, or any other type of emotion that you can feel from music. But I started posting a video every Sunday, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this.